Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back into the video today, and today the Houston Astros lose to the Philadelphia Phillies 3-1, to take the tough loss, and for Phillies fans, that has to feel good because they just got some revenge, I guess, in a sort of way, if you want to view it in that way, but um, not the best of the night for the Astros, great first inning, really early, get it started, Jeremy Pena sends one out. You know, against the Phillies, he was used to that last season in the World Series. That was funny. I remember um, I got the tweet on the Astros tweet from the Astros Twitter when they posted the home run. Um, it said the, the I can't remember the exact tweet that the Astros posted. It was something like um, that looks familiar. I think it was that looks familiar. It was so funny that the Astros Twitter was kind of trolling a little bit about how much Jeremy... I, I mean, I don't, I don't care. I think what Jeremy, Jeremy had at least two or three home runs in that World Series. I know he had at least one or two, uh, but it might have been three. I'm not too sure. But he was dominant in that World Series against the Phillies. And it's fun seeing these two teams play again um, after, you know, that really interesting World Series that we saw. I mean, that was actually a really fun series. God damn, if you live in Houston, there is a lot of rain and thunder right now. So if you hear anything, it is pouring outside here. But um that was a really fun series to watch. I mean that I mean the Astros they won in six, but both I mean, and as I don't like the Phillies at all, but they played great in that series and the Astros just played a little bit better and were able to and and hit the ball like crazy and their pitching was amazing in that series that was one of the you know my favorite since i've been i've been watching the Astros since 2017 and their their playoff run in the last five years uh, the last five years playoff runs i i think that was one of my favorite series that i've watched out of all you know i in 2017 that was a fun year you know with the dodgers with the with the dodgers but and i and i don't have a problem with what we did i know we cheated but for me, not only does, you know, does that not feel a little right because we cheated, that's not the big thing for me, but at the same time, I wasn't really big into baseball back then. I mean, I watched it. I was supportive of our Strohs because, you know, it's H-Town, but it's not that I didn't understand the game. I just didn't care for baseball that much then, but then the next season, that's when I really, the 2018 season, that's where I really started to care for baseball more, um, and then that was and then this season this was our this was our first world series that you know that it was our redemption i mean everybody's been talking trash about us for what three years i mean after well it's when we well, everybody's been talking about us bad badly for three years now but when we won it maybe two and a half years could be the right assumption of how much you know people were talking crap about us even though we'd still gone to a world series loss of the braves um nal nal uh cs after uh we were this that was after it was discovered we cheated so that wasn't enough for people's respect so the world series and people still are people are still jackasses about us cheating but i don't know it was just a really fun moment for us to win a world series and you know after everything that's happened in the three previous years and um, that was just a really fun moment. It was a good series as well. So um, this was the rematch of it. I will be honest, I barely watched it all this game. It's been the NFL draft tonight. I've been supporting my Texans and just watching the draft. I mean, I've been okay with that. I didn't miss too much here. The Astros only had three hits tonight and kind of got oh, – didn't do that great. They had a good first inning. I mean, Pena hit a home run in the first inning. Bregman took a shot but was just short. I mean, it was it all almost got out, but just an amazing catch by Nick Castano, Nick Cast, Cast, Castellanos. Um, a little trouble there, and but it was like it was it was an unbelievable catch by Nick. But um, but yeah, so let's get in, let's get in this game. Let's get in the stats. Three to one, Astros lose. Eight hits for the Phillies. Three for the Astros. One error for each for all, each team. So two errors in the ball game. When goes to Aaron Nola, he went eight innings. He's two and two on the season. So eight innings, one earned run, six strikeouts, zero walks. Loss goes to Valdez, two and three on the year. Seven innings pitched, three earned runs, three strikeouts, zero walks. Save goes to Alvarado, Alvarado, 
uh, his his fifth save of the season. He goes the ninth inning, of course, and there's only other one inning to pitch with Nola's eight and zero and runs, two strikeouts, zero walks. Scoring summary, the Astros hit a, a home run in the first inning, but so did the Phillies. They get it started in, with the scoring summary. They kind of there was only four scores. Phillies had three of them, so not a lot of scoring for the Astros. Well, there's only one score, but the Astros kind of got beat out with the scoring today uh, on the scoring summary. So Schwarber hit a home run to right. Continues. I mean, he was dominant in that World Series. He had a couple home runs in the World Series as well. I can't remember the at least. At least what two or three or even if not more, he was he was really good for the Phillies in that in that World Series last year. So he hits one to right four into seven feet one zero. But then the Astros come right back. Pena home run first inning to right center four hundred two feet one to one. Pena's fifth home run of the season and his fourteenth RBI of the year. I believe that's right. I not I think that's either his fourteenth or fifteenth RBI. Then the fifth inning, the Phillies take the lead with Christian Pache. Double to right, Sasa scored two to one. Then Brandon Marsh in the seventh inning, single to center, Sasa scored. So he sc- he scores two of their three runs today, and that's your final score, three to one. Um, Dubon's hitting streak is over with going over four today. Tough hitting streak to see end with how long it went, and how good it was. Twenty game hitting streak to Dubon, but all streaks must come to an end. Jeremy Pena was one for four with the homer today. Only three hits for the Astros, so you're not going to see a lot of players that got hits. Only three players that had hits for the Astros today, of course. Uh, nobody else, nobody had two hits today, so 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 three players had hits. Tucker was 0 for four. Um, Bregman was 0 for th- 0 for three with a huge with a huge flyout. I mean, he crushed it, but just got barely didn't get it. Barely got barely. Barely, um, missed it by a, missed it by a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, but it was an amazing shot by Bregman. But it was an even better catch by Castellanos. Abreu was one for three today, with a single to center in the fifth inning. Um, and then Corey Jolks was one for three. Uh, so long pay, play here in the fifth inning. Reach on infield single to shortstop. Jose Abreu to second. Jose Abreu safe at third on throwing error by shortstop Turner. Ball kind of rolled past the first baseman. Um, first baseman uh, Eric Alec Bohm. and then and then it was it went a little farther. So it was so Abreu was able to reach third on the on the short on the error by by Trey Turner. Then Jake Myers was zero for three. Rylan Bannon in his Astros debut was 0 for 3, struck out looking, f- flight out to center, flight out to center, and then Martin Maldonado was 0 for 3. So Astros, not that good of a hitting game tonight. But they this is two games in a row they haven't had great hitting nights. Their last win against the Rays, they won 1-0, and they only had five hits in that one. So the last two games, the Astros have only had eight hits. Astros pitching win over Valdez. Other two innings. Brandon Brehu pitched the eighth inning. Really decent outing for Brehu. He went the eighth, of course. Gave up zero hits, zero walks. Had two strikeouts. And then Monterio pitched the ninth. Same thing for him. Two strikeouts, zero hits, zero walks, zero and runs, of course. So other and runs and hits of this ball game. And zero, there were z- not no, there was no walks in this total ball game at all. No, I mean you don't see that usually happen that often. No walks in this game at all. Um, but all the hits and the runs for the that were given up by the Astros today were from Valde- Valdez and the two innings from the bullpen. Uh, they were perfect. No hits, no earned runs, no walks. Of course, no walks. But um, tough loss for the Astros today. But keep it going tomorrow. I'm, I think I'm going to the game on Sunday. I'm not too sure on that, but I might be, and I'm excited if so. But hopefully the Astros can get back to business tomorrow and try to get a win. But that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the thoughts, and peace out. Go Astros.